did I change my settings over? No, I didn't. That right, cool. Yeah, you have got a thermite and a uh, nomad ban here. I believe the thermite's from Quantum. However, that is going to be very depressing for Swag since that is Swag's main out of it now. And there is a Valkyrie and Kai. Tom is going to be very depressing. And we've got a uh, sub reasonable. Uh, Pixie, of course, you do have Jeggy here with the uh, the Fee and Manny with the Ash. They are the two fraggers of the team that I do know of. Um, they are the only two people I know from IR, though. Assassin is a very spoked person around. Obviously, the level 498 and the uh, history of being Diamond does come into play there. Uh, I was actually in the channel earlier when they were doing the strats for this map, and you know some of the strats they've got they're pretty solid. Um, they've had to work on their CEO defense though. Um, that was very weak in the last scrim they played in this map, so they have had to work on that a bit. Now you could have Swag with the Jaeger, Lama with the Malusi, and Toms with the Muzzy. I think he's going to be roaming below. I suppose he's going to be looking for the C4 here, using Pulse and his ability to the best they can. Now you do have Jeggy in here and Assassin providing just some sort of contact into Lama. Um, I reckon Lama will be able to deal with it. And nope, Lama is down. Uh, Jeggy has killed him. Now uh, I bet that's going to be a bit of a pain in the bum for uh, Jeggy there. Do you have Jeggy here pushing in, and there is a sad face. Now, I wonder, obviously, they do have the intel come through, they are in their voice chat together. Um, but, you know, I wonder if this has changed how they're going to play. Obviously, they are getting pushed from admin quite heavily, but, it's, you know, it's nothing they can not deal with. You've got Manny here just sneaking up yellow sir, just peeking into connector, cutting that off. And now he's Jagger with the triple kill, making it a 2v5. And yeah, you, you do have the plant going down there. And he's going to go up for the C4, and can that C4 get him? Nope. The Ash is forced to drop, and there is the win to... uh. The win to IR.
Yeah, now they are going to be going bottom cafeteria and garage. Swag with the Malusi strat. This strat is very strong though. Um, it's a very good strat, I must say. Got the third pick here from a uh, Mozzie to band. Make sure you get the electric in for the wall. Now you do have, to, of course, the banter here. Yeah, he does have a little crush on Dan, not gonna lie. A little bit more than a crush, I would say, though. Now, I do wonder how this game is playing, uh, gonna play out. Obviously, they have a quite an easy first round from Infernum. Um, I wonder if all rounds are going to be like that. I hear you see Swag using his Malusi strat. Yeah, it's a very strong Malusi strat. Um, but I wonder if you know, they, they know a way to counter it. Now they are going to be doing an admin down push. Just make sure you get rid of all the roam clearance. Uh, Jeggy did actually say earlier in a voice call that this was their strong suit. So, yeah, Riley. You have Jeggy and Assassin and uh, Zinir. I think that's how you say it. Pushing in here. You also got Manny below here pushing down yellow stairs. Swag getting a last minute reinforcement. No push lower however for the main wall yet. I wonder if this is gonna be a visa side of push. You have Adam Elden angle on Jeggy, and that is Jeggy down. Um but you know he's he's gonna run away, he's just gonna play it back to sight. Now you have Manny here now pushing the same way as Jeggy. Now uh, you've got obviously Thatcher and Visa and Manny now in um, piano. And there is uh, IQ here just pushing down Spiral slowly. Manny does get the vocal kill though and down. Uh, yeah, if you join my waiting room, then I'll drag you in, mate. Do you have Thatcher here? Just pushing down yellow stairs. Um, just, no, yeah, just a bit slower. But you just try to add a bit of pressure, make him move around a little bit. There he has a yes push down. Assassin is going to be triggered by that Malusi. And there is the strat coming in from Swag. Getting the kill on Assassin there. Nice. They've got IQ here. Try and get an angle. Let's see what type of uh, angle she is getting here. here She's got no choice but to drop the hatch. She drops. Doesn't get the kill on Tom. Tom does injure her a lot. And Tom does get the kill. Tom actually gets the double kill. And well played there from Tom. And there you are, Swag must be really happy. He was saying earlier how he was uh, very happy here to be playing with them. And even just get around, he would really enjoy that. Good evening. Good evening, Riley. Let me uh, stream it into Discord for you so you don't get a delay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, obviously, Quantum are very happy. They do have a win under their belt this first round. Um, the second round, actually. And they were saying, you know, if they get around, they're happy. Um, I do reckon they can get more rounds in, though. Uh, how would you say that, Riley? How would you say they're playing so far? 
Uh, I think Contra is a great map for them. They've got tactics for it, they've got strategies, and they've got some really strong players, obviously. So, I think they'll take a couple more rounds. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you feel like they have, I, I have added pressure and that they should be winning this game? Or do you feel like there's just the same amount of pressure as any scrim? Uh, I think it's just the same pressure, really. I think they've got a bit more pressure because they know some of the players on the enemy team, but I think they're going to be playing just like a scrim and just as well as a scrim. Yeah. Is this our first game? Oh, uh, yeah, it is their state, the first game. I think the fact that they know some of the players on the enemy team are very good players is going to help them push for the win. Yeah, now of course you do have Jeggy, uh, Manny and um, Assassin, not even to mention Assassin. He has been diamond, he's currently level 498, so he's a very skilled player and has been playing the game for a long time. We're going to see the first ball here. I'm going to see Smoke playing in main desk. I'm going to see Malice in at top here in the corridor. And I uh, can't actually read who that is because somebody looking in on the site window or piano window. That is Assassin there, yeah. Now, uh, I w they are going to have to play the vertical game. Lemphy does get the, t the kill though, but he is downed in return. And, um, Manny is also downed by Tom. Now, Dan is going to try and get in for the revive, I believe, but it is a very hard angle to push. But you also have Assassin here just sitting in sight, you know, seeing if he can get any kills. And he is very hurt. And there he is. He is downed by Dan, I believe, who Dan does and get to finish the kill. They've got a 4 on 1 situation here. It's, it's looking strong. They're yeah. 4 on 1 almost, as there is a down player. But it's looking very strong for this team. Yeah. Now, um, obviously. They can, um, what's it called? They can pull this back quite easily, the IQ. So, yeah, I had a bit of a brain fart. Yeah, um, having played in a league like this, they, they know if they can pull games like this back easily. So, it's just a, you know, just a matter of yeah, if you can pull this game. They know they can pull these games off. But yeah. And just like that, they've got one kill. Dan has got the health advantage. But yeah. we see a big weapon advantage from the IQ here, and she has the diffuser now. It is a 1v1 as well, and this is for the ace. And there is a kill, and there's the ace from Zenir, uh, I believe it is. I think the weapon advantage there have really helped, since Smoke could only really use this SMG 11. I think IQ really had some help there from having a better weapon. Yeah. Now, obviously, the the uh, second, the fourth round in. Sorry, it's two one. Um, it is six of six, six versus six, so which means there is some more rounds. You know, there is more time, more gameplay for you guys. So uh, let's let's see how it goes. We're gonna see pretty much same shots here. Gonna have a castle pick if they're gonna keep it. I don't know. Yep, um, castle. Yeah, I'd say Castle's a very good pick, yeah. Especially for this site here, he's, he's a very good pick. Yeah. A very underestimated operator for a lower league site than one time in, sadly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, especially as well, you know, they, they've got to play the vertical game on this site. It's impossible to hold it, uh, being on the same floor as this site. I'm going to see the three, no, two players on top floor right now. Yeah. You see Dan in the bathroom right now. You yep. just chilling. Dan just doing, uh, doing, <laughs> doing that, yeah, support stuff. I don't want to be doing smoke stuff. I think smoke's such a, such an operator that you just have to stay alive with. Because yeah. Because otherwise you become useless to the team. Yeah, and obviously we did see him yesterday, very good with Smoke. The shotgun is obviously one of the best shotguns in the game at the moment. Um, so, so she... Manny and whatever the IQ's name is, I can't really see it. Zenny, I believe it is. Now we're on suicide here. The mute, I believe, countering on us Llama. 
but he's uh, yeah. in, in a bit of a pickle here. But he might be able to uh, take out those two. And Swag does get this kill with uh, Manny there in the window. Um, let's see what sort of angle he is holding here. So, you know, he is on long desk and he does know there's a spear to his left. And there's obviously, you've got one more player to his right. Yeah, I, think, I think they are very good at countering the visa push and admin push because they play it so much themselves. Yeah. But I think it's still going to be tough. And there you go. Just like just get one. Just take, but he's going to get hit from the side. Yeah. From, uh, Swang, I'm sure. I do have Tomzo just sat here. Look, he's just made a little melee hole. A little kill hole, as they call it. And he uh, can do some damage from this. And I'm playing Jaeger again. One of his favourite ops, I believe. Yeah. He's a very good Jaeger, though. Uh, we're going into a 3v3 situation here. But uh, they still do have a hard breacher. Just any old breacher and an intel, so... Tom is now down. It's two v three. It's it's very very possible though for you know Dan and Adam. You've got the smoke as well, just to slow him down if they are getting a bit too much. So it should be a pre pretty pretty easy glitch for him. Seconds on the clock. And to be fair, the Romans did help slow the enemy down quite a lot. So yeah. Like Dan's gonna be taking a lot of damage or taken out. He also manages to to get a kill, which you know does. Even out for them. Drop the diffuser there, so hopefully he can realise he's dropped the diffuser. But I think getting pushed from over is going to be hard for him. And, and that yeah. is very. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it's just just one round to yeah. work hard for. All of these rounds have been very close, though, I will admit. Yeah, they've been very close rounds, which is uh, I've got. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting to see it. I was expecting to see you know five, three fives or five threes constantly. Um, but you know it's been pretty close, and I'm nice. It's nice to see that you know the two teams are pretty close. Hmm. So we're gonna see. I believe the exact same attacking side, but we do have some changes in the defending. We've got. A the bandit and the maestro now, which I don't think they had before. Yeah, I mean the maestro um, is a, a maestro is very important for this bottom site. That is Tom is gonna be playing bandit now and Adam's gonna be taking over that Jaeger role. We're gonna have Maestro's gonna be playing Llama, who is uh is a great player for uh operator like uh Maestro. And we're going to see Swag once again playing with Lucy, one of his favourite ops in the game, I believe. There we go, we've got the, the basement site here. We've got just some same strategies as they've been planning, I believe. I have looked at strategies for this map, so I think they'll be pretty strong on it. We're going to see Maestro. I believe he'll place his cam. I'm not sure where he'll place his cam, actually. Uh, he, he's doing something that I haven't seen Maestro play. But he, no, he's not actually going to put a Maestro cam on Spiral. Okay, that surprised me. We're going to see Malusi up here. Going into, I'm not sure what Malusi's doing actually. <laughs> We're gonna see Tom's going up for the room on the middle yeah. floor there. Now uh, Malusi is going to be doing her, uh, his strat that he has made himself, and it is a very nasty strat. It works very well, so that is what he's going to be doing there. I believe, even though he's in theory not roaming too hard, he's still probably going to slow down any attackers on Spiral, yeah, or even entering from Visa. But we're going to see the Ash into Visa right now. We're going to see two operators pushing, or one operator at least, pushing through Admin. And Manny has oh, killed yeah. Tom there in the room, which is unfortunate for uh, Tom. 
and I keep both using that admin take and we're going to see Thatcher playing throughout him. We're going to see Ash move straight down yellow and he's no, not taking much time but he's got to look for any roamers on the middle floor there. And just... And uh, is that player but he's been picked out from on spiral and from a yellow. Yeah, that was uh, Adam there. Oh, so. Not for um, him. I'm Tom's playing Jaeger. Yeah. But we're going to see the attackers do have a bit of an advantage now considering they've they've taken out middle floor very more so they've pretty much cleared out middle floor and they've still got all of their operators in use. And see Thatcher, he's just holding these stairs I believe. Yeah, I believe he's just trying to stop the rotate down. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I think he's looking for that flank there. Yep, you got Swag with one kill. This is gonna get a take out on Jeggy, I believe. Yeah. Uh, taking out Jeggy from a little push. Gonna watch Spiral Stairs now, which is something that he really needs to do, but he's gonna take mm, him out. That is unlucky. And he did like a uh, assassin actually tanked a headshot there. Mm. Uh, that is, you know, Siege and it's, it's hit Reggie is always yeah, going yeah, to be fun. Now, we are midway through this game here. Um, how how would you rate the game so far? I think, I think it's been great. I think Quantum has got experience for them because they're getting experience against experienced teams. And they're, they're playing the strats they want to play right now. And they've had time to think about what they're doing. And I, I think both teams are going to be liking it. I think that, yeah, both teams are just going to be wanting that experience right now. Yeah. Because I think in Siege, it's so important to just play as a team and focus on that more than a lot of other things. Yeah. Now they're going to be basement again here. And Swagger is just going to be trying to start again. Obviously, he couldn't really... Um, used his chat last time because he was flushed into the server. But he did manage to get a pick off of Jaggy there. Yeah. Well, let's see. Smoke. Bandits together enforcing. And it's the exact same site. Some pretty similar strategies, I believe, but uh, you never know until the game starts. You know? Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, obviously, these teams have got to rotate round as well. Um, and they, you yeah, know, one team, yeah, you know, you're gonna have a defender side of the team, you're gonna have an attacker side of the team. Um, obviously, with quantum, they're a bit of a mix in the middle. You know, they're pretty strong either side, but um, I haven't, we haven't really been given a chance to watch. Um, Infernum, yeah. So, we, yeah, I do wonder how that will play out. Got Manny here just pushing down yellow stairs, pushing into a uh, piano, I believe. Yeah, yes, he is pushing into piano now. He's gonna be using his vertical angles on the floor there. Yep, yeah, Adam does get the kill as well. Very soon from. Pretty much in toilets, which is a great pick and is a great use of that room. I stand down, down yeah. and on a pick. I believe Adam has actually switched to the red dot as well. He was using holographic, I think, last time. Does get two kills. And now, I do wonder what he's going to do now. Is he just going to play it safe and just hide there and see how many he can pick off? Or is he just going you know, to run back? Where is he that's red dot? Is it? Isn't that? Nope, ben, Jerry does three. get the wall ban. And uh, that's, that's a nice peek from Jogi there. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. It was just a well executed kill. They're going to be looking down. He's going to be able to play this vertical. And he's probably expecting Swag to be there, but yeah. not like he is. He's going to drain it out, but it looks clear. But Swag is in there, though. Yeah, and obviously. Out for that. I believe Jogi is just going to hold the angle that he knows he has to come from. Um, but swag is miles away from that. Gonna do something. He's going to open up the next hatch. Going to put on pressure from both sides. Try and almost sandwich him in there. 
but it was going to be moving around to find something else to do, considering they've only got 45 seconds left. Yeah, no. So the Romans have done a very good job here. And that is unlucky. Swag yeah. just peaked at the wrong time. And now, yeah. Jackie nearly got the team kill. Swag just holds Spiral for a bit too little time. I think next time he'll be ready to hold that Spiral angle a yeah. bit more. Because you'll know that Jaggy might push down there if he stops applying pressure. But I suppose you expected Jaggy to come from behind him. Now it is a 2v1 and Tom knows exactly where he is. Yeah. Uh, Tom, they are just going to have to waste time here. They've got uh, time to waste the diffusers on the floor. Yeah. And Tom just looking the wrong way. He's taken out. That, that is really, really unfortunate. Yeah. I think. I think it's unfortunate. I think he'll probably learn from that to uh, play time more effectively. Yeah. But, uh, I, I can't really comment on it because I'm not I'm not pro. Yeah, I mean, this game is just a learning curve for them all, really. They haven't really, um, according to Mavic, come against a team this good yet. Um, so let's see how we're going. And um, it is important to know that Infernum do have a trial here. I believe that is Tay by the looks of the names, and uh, I do wonder how his trial is going. Hopefully, it is a good trial for him because, I mean, I, I think anyone would like to join IR. They are a very good team, well known, and they have, you know, got people who are nationalists uh, within uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Mm. No, I am going to quickly go grab some food. I'll be right back. All right, I'll I'll take over. So when we swap into attack now, we're going to see Buck being used. We're going to be seeing Havana as the hard breacher and only hard breacher, which is a risky play, but I think when they're playing this site, they should be able to use with only one hard breacher. And they've also got Sledge, so they've got two light breaches in theory, almost three because of Ash's ability, and that's Adam playing that. They've got the uh, Jackal as well, which is a, a really nice op. And if used effectively, he can be one of the best ops, in my opinion. And we're going to be playing, we're going to see smoke. Pretty common to see when they're playing on second floor in this. Or just any part of second floor, really. A very common operator to choose. Probably almost 100% pick rate in ranked, I suppose. But we're going to be saying a. Was that a spawn peak we just saw? Yeah, I think that might have been a spawn peak. Now, obviously, that is allowed. He did wait the two seconds, so... You know, it's... Yeah, I mean... Uh, I think it should be a bit more time, but... You've, you've just got to watch out for that. Yeah, I mean, personally, I don't think there should be any time. There's there's no reason a defender should not be winning a spawn peak. The attackers, you know, they, they know exactly where they're going to be. Uh, and it's just a matter of placing that headshot, so... Yeah, I, I don't think there really should be a time. Now, I believe it is going to be a visa sided push. Uh, possibly going up to admin. Yeah, that's a sledge and buck both moving into visa. Well, yeah. Sledge is drawing them out, buck, I believe. So we're going to see Vigil looking at him, and he's going to get an easy pick off there. A nice, a very nice shot. Now, they know he's in there somewhere. He knows in there, he knows they're out there, it's a situation he's got to work on, but it looks like they're going to move just in time. Assassin is there to help. Can Dan get the two out. kills? No, he can't. That is unlucky. Jeggy yeah, with the 1v4. Yeah. Now it is down yeah. to the wannabe Fragmite, however. Thermite's no longer here, yeah. so I guess it's Hibana cross with Fragger, which I don't know what you get. Yeah, it, I mean, he's just probably just going to play it for kills, that's how I play it. Yeah, as a hard breacher, I think he he plays very well and aggressively, considering yeah. he's only a hard breacher. Yeah. But it's going to be going up to the actual level that the site is on now, which uh, I don't think any of them have been at all game, if I'm honest. Yeah, now he is going to get someone to watch the drone. Yeah, I'm sure of that, because he does not want anybody... Going out and shooting them while he's there. It almost seems like they can see somebody's there. So. Mm. But uh, I guess not. So he's going to be using 
the barricade to his advantage. And he's going to be going vertical now as it's been destroyed. He's going to get kicked off a bit from the smoke, I believe. He sees some legs, but it's just not enough to hit. And he's got orch yellow all the while with the same nose. He's there now. He's almost going to get another pick, but now he's being smoked oh. out rapidly and he Dead might even dive it. Yep. Oh, I don't think he expected to die to that smoke, if I'm honest. No, I, I, I don't think he was in the range of it, personally. I think smoke's range is a bit too much. Uh, I think it should be nerfed just a little bit. But, you know, he's a very good operator, nonetheless. Yeah, I, I think with a nerf, he'd still be a good op. Yeah. Now, it is round eight here. You've got four more rounds to go. Uh, and how, how are you rating the game is going to play out? Uh... It's been great so far. Been a lot of battles, but I think it's looking like a bit of a one-sided fight now. But it, it has been a good game. We've seen a lot of good plays from each team, but yeah, I think I think there's a very clear advantage here. I mean, both teams are doing. You know, it's pretty even. Um, yeah. So it's I it's nice to see. Yeah, in terms of actual game statistics. It's pretty even, but I think they've just been able to take more rounds here, and it has been very close in a lot of rounds, to be honest, but yeah. for a team that's barely developed, really, or don't have much experience, they're doing great to battle this other team that's just used to, used to scrum, used to all of that, and has great players as well. Yeah. Now I assume they are going to be doing the uh, the the visa side and admin side push now. Do have Jeggy below and visa, but you know you they, you have got them all going up to admin. You know they got a rogue player, they got to get rid of the rogues. Yeah, yeah, I think that's great. You see, yeah, both Thatcher, no, not Thatcher, sorry, Sledge, and Jeggy, I believe. Both are watching, no, not Jaggy. We're gonna see Sledge, and can't tell who that is. It looks a bit like Llama. Yeah, it's Llama. Yeah. Um, on the admin side, they've got two cams in there. But I think it's almost clear. Yeah, the, there, I mean, there isn't really any room. It's obviously you have Jaggy here, Bama Lucy, um, just bottom of spiral here. But I think a lot of the time, even playing second floor. Gets a bit of intel on the first floor, and uh, you've always got to watch those verticals because you never know when you might get a vertical peek on you. But yeah, it doesn't really look like they're going to be playing above, so I think they're pretty clear to walk in. You see, Llama, no, not Llama, Swam, Adam, Swag and Adam, so yeah, both, both playing there on the yellow stairs. Which is, is a bit unusual to see, considering they're both hard breaches, but uh, they're definitely going to need that hard breach now if they want to breach anything. Yeah. So they've only got one left. you got Swaghead scoping out everything out. He knows that there's one up there, but it's just a matter of finding whereabouts. It is, it is very strange how Siege tactics have, have changed over time. Yeah. To the point where the fight is... Is obviously an objective, but the site can be used in so many other ways. Yeah. Um, how they're using some of their abilities, even if they're not on site floor, because just how how the game has changed. Yeah. Now you do have Llama there getting the kill on uh, Assassin there. He knew it was good coming up spiraling up. I do predict he heard him coming up. Hmm. We're gonna see two players on yellow here. Oh, and that he it just took... is gonna use his EMP, but it's gonna get taken out straight yeah. away from the bottom of yellow. 
And now it's a 1v, uh, a 1v3, and there you are. Defenders do have it. I really only just thought about it. I remember this game when it pretty much first came out, playing it and thinking, this game, uh, it's fairly straightforward, you know, you, you tap the site and, uh, Couple operators with different stuff, but nowadays it's it's cool. Yeah, you've got you've got to know have some sort of information. Yeah, now there's everything changed. Yeah, I mean even just you know playing a little ranked game. Yeah, you you got to know how to prep the side properly. You know where rotations go. So yeah, and considering how uh, community isn't isn't great, really. I think even in Quick match, it gets to the point sometimes where they might get angry at people if they have less knowledge of the game. Yeah, I mean, uh, the game can be like that, but once you've got a good bunch of lads to play with, then you know everything. Yeah. Everything's kind of settled out. Yeah, it, it gets smooth as you go along. But uh, enough, enough talk about early game. We're going to talk about this game. We're going to be seeing uh, a very weird. Well, not weird, uh, different defending side here. We're gonna have the Jaeger, Mozzie, Smoke, Doc, which is, yeah, you don't really see him played often, and a Clash. I do, is, I uh, did want to see some Gash getting played the other day, so. I, I want to see how it works out, honestly. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, it's strange, it's strange. I do wonder if she's gonna do this little spinny trick on any of them and see him, seeing if. You can get a couple of kills by using oh, that. Oh, ye old spinny trick, yeah. Yeah, that, that is a... I know when it happens to me, I do get a bit annoyed. I, I get very annoyed. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, though. Yeah, it's funny, yeah. It's funny, it's funny watching it happen to other people. But, it, yeah, but when it happens to you, it's a bit... It's not nice. Yeah, exactly that. But uh, we're going to see... Not... I don't believe there's going to be an admin push here, which is... No, I believe they're just going to be pushing the main site, which... Uh... No, there's, there's not actually going to be an admin push here. I think they've realised now that not many of the team's operators are actually playing site. Yes, yeah, uh, so I, I they're going to capitalise on this. I reckon they've said in voice chat right about now, just play site. Yeah. So obviously they are going to have that smoke on site, that smoke does best. You've also but got Manny as well. Yeah, I think I think that's a very smart play from Quantum. Yeah, and that is of course just knowing how the site is going to be played out. Mm. So, or oh, the majority of the team now going to be looking in on that window, and we're just going to have Swag by himself looking. Uh, I'm I'm not sure. I'm not completely sure, but I think maybe they're just going to be used as a distraction, but. Yeah, no. It hasn't worked and Swaggy's gonna get taken out. No, that armor yeah. does get killed. I believe that's by Clash. Yeah, it is. And Clash it does drop. Clash, Clash is gonna take a lot of damage there. And he does done yeah. the spinny on him. And, uh, he's done the spinner. He's done the spinny on him. And, uh, that's unfortunate to see. Come on. Yeah. And that is round 9 to uh, Infernus there. Had is uh, certainly something, but I think even though they did lose that game, in, in theory, Quantum did have good mental strategies there. You know, they had yeah. distractions for away from the site or away from a site, and they were going to at least try and pop in swag and be able to get the plant now, I believe. Yeah, uh, did you uh, have Llama as well pushing the site? Um, yeah. A lot of them did get into sight, it was just then getting killed with insight. It was, yeah, it was. It was, it was a good idea, and I yeah. think it it could have went either way, really. It just. The team just knew how to counter it straight away. Which they're not really used to. Most yeah. teams they've played in this league have kind of got used to their playstyles, so when they switch something up, they're not very used to it, and I think. That is almost why they don't often win the first game, but uh, yeah, it's still, still been good to watch. 
Yeah, I mean, it's it, in the end, the game's a game. You do, you just want to play a game sometimes, you know. Um, it's a learning curve for both teams. Um, and it's even just a practice game for both teams. Just, you know, try out new strats. Um, but also learn how to counter some strats, which is uh, very important yeah, I, as well. I think, these teams, I, I think at least these teams are going to be playing against each other quite a lot. Yeah. And obviously, yeah, it's, it's yeah, nice yeah. to have a scrim partner as well. Yeah. But uh, I, I think they'll play quite a lot together, but not all the time. I think they're going to almost get used to each other. And I think that's great. But we're going to see Assassin getting taken out. Playing Malusi by Adam, actually. Adam's been actually very good this game. He's gonna... Yeah, I mean, you know, he's a very good player. Um, he isn't properly in the team yet, but I do think he will get into the team. Uh, yeah, I think he will. We've played a lot of scrims, and he, he's he's performed well in a lot of them. Yeah. And he has quite stops and rounds, so I think... Just my opinion, but I, I think he's going to get in the team. Yeah. He's, he's a great player, isn't he? Mike Dobbs, why is Jeggy on the other team? It is, uh, we're playing against Jeggy's main team at the moment. It's Quantum versus their main team. They're doing pretty well at the moment. They would have had three rounds, but if they played time, you know, here's what it is. It is what it is, and that's the problem. I mean, they've won one round. What, they, yeah, they, they said these trades would win one round and they'd be happy. Um, the fact that they've come that close to winning some more rounds just shows, you know, how good a team they can be and how they are a good team. Yeah, and they've still got a lot to come. Yeah. And, uh, recently they've, they've been very professional about their team. We're going to see a 5 to three, 3 situation here. It's 1 minute 30 on the clock. We're going to see Capital being played, which... Is from Llama, who is Capito is a very underestimated op, but a lot of teams don't use him because he's not necessary to a strat to do at least. But yeah, you I have Llama. Well. Got Llama here as well, just sneaking in that long death. He's a yeah, he's a very good support player. Yeah. Obviously, he did drop the ace the other day as well for his team. Mm. Yeah. I saw that one. He does get a kill against Manny. Yeah, Can you go and get the second? Manny right in the corner there. Which makes it a 4v1 which... 30 seconds left, but it looks like they might get the win here. I'm, I'm not sure, but it looks... Yeah, I mean, they don't have the fuse on there. He knows the, the, you know, they've got yeah. to go for it. But, uh, we'll just see he's been... so feared by Adam. Which is a great use of Sophia. And they know where he is now, and they've got the fuser, so uh, it's not looking great. Dan's going to be planting. Dan yeah. also a very good player for support, and he's going to get taken out through the, the hole from Admin. That is a great play. By uh, Llama. Yeah. That, that, is, that is a good play. You do have the, the emotional support there from Dan. Uh, it is now 8 to 11th round in, uh, which I do believe is the final round. Of the game, uh, should should be, should but, be. Yeah, they've they've got two rounds done and a lot of rounds very close, and they they might even start playing past term. Yeah, I mean, and we've, you've also got to think as well as that. Uh, as Sober said, they could have won three rounds purely by yeah. playing time. Um, uh, which just shows how how good a team they are. I know this is gonna be pretty biased, but I I do think Quantum are a very good team, um, and they can yeah. go places. They just need you know a little bit of tweaks here and there. And they just need to play some more together as a team. And I think in in league games they'd be they'd yeah be, they're gonna be doing very well for league games. They won their most recent one. Um, weird circumstances for that win, but. They, they did manage to get quite yeah, they get the round win. one out of that, and uh, I think they might have even got a 6 or 9, but, uh, but uh, they, they got the win, which is, what is that, their second or first game? Uh, it league? was their first game of the league, the first game of the league in general actually, the league, first yeah. game did get cancelled due mm. to one team getting kicked out. Yeah. 
But uh, that, that's a good thing to have under that belt. They found their first first ever league game, and it was a win, which is very nice for them. And uh, yeah, I'd like to see more. More like that. But we're going to see. We're going to see what, what side is that. They're going to be playing Tyrone. Fight. We're going to be playing Barnes. Going to be moving up to Visa window there. We're going to see. A uh, quite strong visa push, I believe. Now we mm. have Jeggy playing Vigil, playing watching for those admin takes, but uh, I don't think there's much room to watch really. But, yeah, uh, yeah. Now, oh, um, Llama, maybe even looking in on Vigil here. Yeah, yeah. You can speak. Uh, I, w I mean, I don't really think there's too much to say about <laughs> just these two teams, to be honest. Both I teams are very there's good. There's a lot you can say about it without saying anything. Yeah. It's now down to 3v5. Now down to a 2v4, I believe that is. A 3v4, sorry. Yeah, yeah, 3, 3v5. No, three, four. It's just glitched out. Actually. Yeah, right. It's, it's it's glitched out. Got swag here on suicide here. Just you know, I believe he's just trying to create some noise from him. Perhaps try to get a kill or two. And you got Llama just stuck on stuck stuck on admin rappel. He knows that there's some in there, but he just gets run out on by assassin. And that is unlucky. Uh, Spike does get there right now, the one assassin getting the refrag. And now it is a, a 2v3, um, which is very possible for both teams. And Tom does get the kill there on the smoke. Uh, that's a nice shot from Tom there. And then it down to a 2v2. No, if Tom was just holding the angle, he might be able to get a kill on one eye here. Tom's got no choice but to push in. And he is unable just to get one kill. Alright, uh, uh, it's unfortunate. But, through this tough, uh, tough situation now, it's once again, in theory, got a close, close win. And there, Jeggy is with, there with the uh, Pokemon reference there. Is Quantum joining Reflex Championship? Uh, they are joining the Reflex Championship, and is Quantum ready for the BO3 tomorrow? I believe they are. Uh, I haven't really had a chance to speak to them. I've been pretty tied up. Uh, yeah, I think everyone and the team all around the team has been. Yeah, I mean, I, I, go, I go back to college tomorrow, so I've been making sure that I... Uh... Well, do you know what I do? I don't go to anything for six weeks, yeah, that's right. Um, I mean, mine's online, so I've got to be extra, extra safe. Well, yes, I Now, they did, I'd say it's a bit of a waste of a sick pick there, but it is, you know, if it's a friendly comp, so it, they did sick pick from a chunk to assassin there. We're in RC2. Oh, monkey, you could have a little, uh, you could have a game again, you never know. Oh, is that the uh, one they've already played against? Yeah, it was the uh, monkey they played against. Uh, the Jaeger Roma. Yeah, the Jaeger Roma, yeah. Oh. I think you'll enjoy another, another game against them. Yeah, they were two very close teams, which was nice to see, which means they are, you know, they're a good team to play against. Yeah, maybe scrim buddies. Yeah.
Now, uh, I do wonder how um, QTM are going to play this. Uh, I believe Wait, am I the GOAT? I, I can't say anything. I believe if Quantum loses, that is the end of the game, is it? Uh, yeah. Uh, been a very good game, and maybe we'll see more to come. Uh, we're going to be playing with the basement, sorry, basement floor bomb site. We're going to see a pretty uh, strong visa push here. Tom's going to be rushing yeah. straight in. Probably going to look at those hatches, I assume, but yeah. we're going to see Jaggy right below the hatch there. Yeah, uh, thank you for the uh, photo mic, Dub, sir. Thank you. Now, uh, do have Jeggy here just sneaking up spiral. I'm uh, getting the Goyo kill on Assassin there. Llama is down by Jeggy. And I do reckon Jeggy will just peel off there. Yeah, you still got to play it safe even when your team is, is winning. So what down above Tom Visa stairs and he does get one frag. And now you just, you, you got the two entry fraggers here. Just you know, trying to work their way around. Now it is down to a 3v3. And there you go. Tom does get the kill, so does Swag. And there is the game over. Attackers won. That is 9-3 to, uh, to uh, IR there. And I'd say it's a good game from QTM. They got three rounds in. You know, so I'd say it's a pretty solid, solid game.